So I've got Elizabeth Barnes with me here. We're at the end of the Marathon de Sable 2015, the 30th edition. Um, and Elizabeth is, uh, has had a remarkable year in many ways. Um, uh, if you've uh, won and set the course record for the C2C, is that right? Yeah, yeah, C2C and um, Pilgrims. And I was going to say the next thing she's in the same with that you blitzed the Pilgrims as well, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she's very, very modest, Elizabeth, by the way. So, um, and, and she's a, a arrived, um, and I'll, I'll quickly tell the story, if, if you don't mind, about um, the email exchange we had before when, when uh, back in November, Elizabeth, uh, I asked her what position she was, was she going to go for a position this year in the MDS? And she said she was, uh, she was hoping to come in the top 100, but the field was strong and she's not sure actually how she would do. So, Elizabeth, um, how did it end up for you? Well, uh, I um, yeah, I surprised myself with a win in the women's and um, about twentieth overall. So I'm absolutely chuffed. <laughs> and I forgot to mention too, you also had a great year because didn't you get married this year as well? Um, I yeah, I got married last July. It's the last, last 12 months, that's yeah, what I so meant. Uh, Colin says I now have a lighter surname, so he takes some credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so people can pronounce that one. I also have trouble with, with your, your maiden yeah, name. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, so it's been all the all way around, it's been, been a great year for you. Yeah, it's been, it's been a really good, really good year. Yeah. So, um, Elizabeth, it's, this, this race has been an extraordinary race for you, and, and you know, on a short time I, I caught you when you're going down the, around the race, you had a real look of surprise on your face the whole way around. Um, tell us why. Um, I mean, I had, I had done my preparations. Um, I did um, put some good training in, um, sort of from November to end of February, and then in March, which is too busy to really do anything, um, but I did do 12 hours at Kingston University in the heat chamber and a little bit of training, so I guess I had quite a long taper. Um, I responded really well to the heat um, acclimation, so, so that was that was good. Um, but um, I guess I just didn't really believe that I had done enough to do quite so well. Um, but the interesting thing about this race is, I think... Um, a lot of things need to come together and it's a totally different environment from, from home. Um, it's very hot, it's very rugged terrain, you're running with a backpack, you need to recover um, from each day quickly. Um, and so being a great runner at home doesn't necessarily mean that you will you know, thrive and succeed out here. And, and I guess it just worked for me. Um, so what would you... So I'm really interested from, from a woman's point of view um, that... You know, if you'd come on the race, how, how would you describe your experience for, from from a woman's point of view? What's what's the the, the standout bits um, from like the women's race, or um, I guess I, I guess uh, um, I was very surprised on day one. I thought they'd gone out, you know, too hard, um, and I I thought that you know maybe maybe I I would have a chance to beat Laurence. Um, I certainly didn't expect uh, um, to beat Lisa Howard, and so I was quite surprised the first day. I thought I'd gone out too hard, and then the second day I sort of still kept it up, and the third day I thought, oh, the, you know, everyone's now just saving it for the long stage. And um, I mean, I have huge respect for this race and for every day of this race because because the temperatures are extreme, anything can happen. Um, but I I knew that this race didn't start until the long stage. And so, you know, you can't take anything for granted before then. Um, so it was all really about that stage. And uh, um, I was just, for that stage, I just had to really focus to do my own race, not worry about anyone else. And the other set of quicker than I was comfortable with. So I thought, I'm just going to have to let them go and do my own thing, whatever that means. Um, um, but that paid off, so... Um, yeah, I think the long day was, was key. I had a really good long day. So for women that are thinking of coming on the race who have maybe never done a, 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 a Master Day Ultra before, what would, you, what would you say to them? I actually think this is, um, this is probably quite a good race for women. I think women in general are um, good at coping with endurance, um, fairly good at coping with pain <laughs> um, I think um, the main issue for women is confidence um, and you know I guess I lacked confidence as well in the sense that I didn't think that I would do as well but I I never doubted that I would have you know a good week I just didn't think it would be that good um, from a, the perspective of my position but um, 
Um, it, it's it's a fantastic experience. It's a great holiday. It's it's um, you know an adventure, and um, more women should do it. And that's, that sounds like really great advice. So, um, th what would be the the highlights for you during the race and, and the and the low points? Um, so highlights. I mean, so many. I had so much support out here. Um, it was absolutely incredible. Just um, when you're um, when you're one of the faster runners, I mean, during the longest stage on the marathon, you start a couple of hours later, and so you pass um, a large portion of the field as you run, and the support was just. Um, unbelievable and it was such a big boost to have that um, I mean even the French were like shouting like oh we love you <laughs> you know <laughs> so, um, so it that was that was incredible um, and I thought the course was really pretty this year um, very varied um, so I tried to enjoy the scenery as well and um, on the marathon stage we had um, we passed a big herd of camels and a really cute little baby camel and I was like wow this is so so worth it <laughs> just to see that um, and the camaraderie I mean everything I think this race is unique in that respect like everyone just comes together and supports each other and it's um, fantastic um, low points I mean I uh, the long stage, although it went well, was very hard. Um, the last few hours, it just felt like the sand was never ending. Um, when I finally crossed the finish line, um, I had given it my all. I was sick twice between the f walking from the finish to the tent. I was in agony for a few hours. We had a storm, so the tent had blown down. Um, so I was just laying under that <laughs> collapsed tent. I was in total agony, just moaning and groaning and swearing. And I was like, I'm never coming back again. Like, <laughs> But then, you know, next day you've forgotten all about it. So. Okay, so lastly, um, five words that describe the MDS for you, individual words that you would say describe the MDS. Um, you should have prepared me for this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Any words? <laughs> Oh, um, well, it is hot, um, without a doubt, um, and there is a lot of sand. There was actually more sand than I remembered. I keep telling people, oh, there's not so much sand, like, this, you know, it's a lot of rocks and stuff, but there was a lot of sand this year. Um, and um, um, I guess happiness is... Um, there um challenge um personal challenge it's a personal challenge in many ways and for many people it's it's, it's life changing um and uh it's a beautiful race this year yeah okay so thanks very much um and i'll just say that elizabeth Ian and uh, colin her husband uh, run uh, myracekit.com and uh, if you haven't been to see the website go have a look